Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and before I will uh, give you new information in this video I want to review uh, information that I gave you in my previous video and if you study bioinformatics such names of the genes and uh, proteins or cDNAs or messenger RNAs can be uh, like abracadabra where you would see just random uh, letters and numbers but actually there is uh, rules behind this and if you know those rules it would be much easier for you to understand what these names stand for for example if you would see that um, it would start with letters mt that means mitochondria and as you know uh, we have two genomes one genome we have in nucleus Another genome we have in mitochondria and this is single circular chromosome that can be present in many copies per one mitochondrion. Number of genes on this chromosome uh, would depend on the species, uh, depend on the animal. Uh, in some mitochondria of some animal there is no um, mitochondrial DNA because all the um, uh, genes were transferred to the nucleus. But uh, in humans, for example, we have 37 genes that uh, reside on the circular chromosome. 22 of them would stand for, would code for uh, transfer RNA. And by the way, this T here stands for the transfer RNA. And the next letter stand for the uh, type of uh, amino acid that this transfer RNA would be charged with. For example, this uh, C uh, would stand, as you see there is three variants of the name, full name, three letters name and one letter name. So this C would stand for the cysteine. This is one letter name for this uh, amino acid. So now, as you see, this is not enigma anymore for you. Second name also starts with MT hyphen and then uh, there is A. So any letter except T means that this is going to be mitochondrial gene that would code for some kind of protein or enzyme. Only those that would start with T uh, means um, transfer RNA and mitochondria has 22 such uh, transfer RNAs and uh, 15 uh, other proteins, uh, genes that code for other 15 proteins. And my last note would be uh, that uh, in order to recognize uh, name as uh, name of the gene or copy DNA or um, messenger RNA belonging to mitochondria, it should start with MT and then hyphen. But if we would have uh, some name, for example, MTA and then hyphen, in this case, uh, such a name wouldn't stand for mitochondrial gene anymore. Now let's talk about new type of uh, gene notations that I didn't show you before. For example, let's take such gene as uh, MTTP, uh, which stands for the microsomal triglyceride transfer protein. And we also may find uh, such variation of this gene, like this one. Actually, uh, gene names that look like this is much more common than uh, gene names that look like this. So we have here gene name, underline, some letters and number. So in this video I'm going to talk about alternative uh, transcripts of the gene. For example, let's take um, a gene uh, that has of course um, introns and uh, also would have exons and between exons we would see uh, introns. Of course introns and exons are not of the same size. Uh, introns are much much bigger 
than axons. So, uh, but for simplicity, uh, let's uh, assume that uh, they are of the same size. And uh, of course, in this case, we may have uh, different variants of the transcripts. For example, the first variant would include uh, a piece number one or fragment number one, number two, uh, number three, but uh, would exclude a piece number four or fragment number four. Uh, different variant of the transcript can be uh, number one and two and number two and four excluding um, this um, exon number three. And for example yet another variant can be when uh, transcript would start with uh, fragment number two, number three and also would include uh, fragment number four. So we call this alternative splicing of the same gene. So one gene may give a rise to different variants of transcripts uh, due to alternative splicing of this gene. And actually uh, about 20 years ago when scientists started a human genome project they were thinking that uh, because we have about 100,000 proteins our genome also have to have about 100,000 genes. But later they have found that uh, number of genes about 23,000 and we have uh, such variety of the proteins due to uh, this alternative splicing. So for each new uh, alternative uh, variant of the same gene we do not give a new name. Instead we use the same name as you see here and we would give, provide this accession number to the certain transcript. As I show on this picture there can be different variants and uh, if we would use this part of the name of the gene uh, which is accession number we would go directly to the uh, sequence of the certain transcript and as you see there are different possible variants how one gene can be transcribed. So this name of the gene consists of three parts. First part is the name of the gene, then uh, we have underline here and we have accession number of the transcript. And of course we would have much more um, gene names like this than genes uh, that have only one name because most of the genes has about five different alternative uh, forms of transcripts. I hope you have learned something new today and this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.